everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to, well, I should say welcome to another stream. Uh, today we're checking out another new map. Uh, this map is called Doterra Italica. Doterra Italica. So it's like the earth of, or the, yeah, I should say, the land of Italy. Uh, I guess would be the translation if I were to be any kind of decent translation person. It's going to turn up the sound here in the game. I think I have that down a little low. I don't know. That's fine. Okay. So I figured it would be fitting to have a Lamborghini uh, to start us off with. So here we are with a Lamborghini tractor. Uh, I actually looked for a Lamborghini cars too to see if it, what I could find, but I didn't find anything uh, in my hasty search. Uh, we actually have every truck. We'll use the old truck. We'll take a look around this little area here uh, to see what's what because I have not been around this map at all. And it looks like quite a nice map, actually. So let's go ahead and take a look around and see what we see here. It's going to bring up the uh, FPS counter here so people can see what's what. Ooh, that's interesting already. Is that for beets? What is that? Or is that for manure? Oh, that's for manure. That's so cool. Oh, my goodness. I've, thought, I've This is what you see often in real life. I think this is the first time I've seen something like this that actually functions as well. Uh, in farm sim. That is awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is super cool. I am impressed already. I like that. Open animal dialogue. Okay, here we get some cows. Let's go ahead and buy, I don't know, 50 cows. Because why not? Uh, oh, that is the right one. Which door is opening here? Oh, it's this one over here. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. That's that one opening and closing. That's your feed for the cows. This is what the cows look like. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. This is the inside of the cow area here. You might be able to actually, this is that uh, manure conveyor belt system set up there. That's your lily milker. Very nice. Looks like you can drive actually drive up, up into this side over here. And you can drive right through. From the looks of it there. Yep. That's pretty neat actually. What have we got on this side? Oh, that's different as well. Look at that. That's for the slurry. That goes into the slurry pit here. That's actually really cool. That's a neat little uh, way to see it actually. I don't think I've ever seen it quite like that. And I guess you can just drive up along the side here. Yeah. That'd be neat if you could see it, like, go run every now and then, see the slurry come out of there. That'd be pretty sweet, actually. So I, I like what I see so far. Very cool. Little feeder there, looks like. Sorry, off of some little equipment there. What's this for the cows? That's from the pigs. Okay, here's the pig area right here. I keep them all kind of close. Hey, Wheelie Club, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Darn it, you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to get music again. I think it's actually on my other hard drive. And here's the slurry for the pigs. And that is for fuel, maybe? I'm not sure, it's like half buried. Okay. A little pig area here. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. And here's, wow, they have all this. This is for chickens, actually. <clears throat> That's interesting. They actually made a, a separate chicken area for the chickens, which is actually kind of neat. Apparently there's barley growing there. Hmm. That's strange. All right. And there's chicken in here. So this would be a good little area for, um, let's see if I can find them real quick. The chicken, I think, I think it's called enhanced chicken, or something, this guy right here. So open chicken pen. Uh, the building's placed inside the fence line of your chicken pen. And chickens will produce, will only produce eggs if they have food or water. Straws required to breed your chicken. Chickens will only produce, produ only produce pickup eggs when they are not breeding. Okay. So you can either breed them or have that. And this is where you can have it, um, so let's just see here. Oh, actually, that's quite large. 
Can I drive in the chicken area though? It looks like I can. This actually might be intended for this purpose then. Uh, which way is it supposed to go? Looks like this way. So let's go ahead and put it, I don't know, right in the middle here. Uh, so there you go. There's a little chicken area. How does Italy taste? I'm not sure. I do love my Italian food. So open the chicken menu. There's a menu here. So wheat, barley, corn, water, straw for breeding only, and productivity for eggs. So eggs in the coop, one. 24 chicken zone. So we'll lay eggs standard, and you can choose lay eggs in the basket. I don't know what that does. Maybe there's a specific area they lay the eggs then. Hmm. What's the difference? Lay eggs in the basket? Are you sure you want to pay your neighbors 3% of your egg value to collect your eggs and store them in your chicken coop basket? Note, basket has no storage on it. Yes. Oh, that's what I want. So the other one is you just have to man manually pick them up. Have you seen the new God of War? I have not. Can't say I have. Okay, that's kind of cool. So that's that chicken coop feature. That's not to say of this map specifically, just a, uh, a mod you can get. Very nice. So here is some storage, it looks like, over here for certain things. This looks like it's for your, well, that's actually for your grain right there. Your grain dryer, that's neat as well. Well, what's that for then? Or is that even a trigger of sorts? That might be for your, yeah, it looks like it's for your seeds and fertilizer. I don't know if you actually have to, hmm, I would be curious to find out actually. All right, let's grab the, the truck here and take a little jaunt around, see what else we see here. Okay, so that's the cow area we looked at. This is going to the other area. That's the chicken area. Let's go ahead and go out this gate here. Take a look around the map. I actually like what I see so far. It looks very nice. Let's go ahead and check this out here. So as you see, we own a couple fields down the south side here. Let's go check that out. So we own the field. Wow, this is really different. We own the field on the right-hand side. So that one's one up here. Looks like this one right here. And we also own that grass field up there as well. From the looks of it. This is supposed to be like a part of the Tuscany area, if memory serves. Sunflowers look good. Excellent. This is kind of a neat little area to, to drive around, actually. This is the type of area where you'd see a Unimog, most likely. Well, in my mind, at least. Very cool. Got some small size fields on here. What does the whole map look like? Oh, wow. And they look like there are quite a few other larger fields. Actually, we own some of these fields up here, too. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Let's see. Uh, let's turn left up here. Bridge there. Okay. Apparently, we own some fields way up in here, too. Let's go check this out. Um, not that field. Wow, this is quite uh, a lot more diverse than I thought it was going to be. This is like, a lot of times you'll see uh, a map like this and it'll just be, it'll be, you know, kind of plain Jane. But this is pretty, uh, so far, it's pretty crazy. So, Fireblast, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Let's go check out this. Oh, yeah, that's, we're I'm in the wrong place now, but. This is what it looks like over here, at least. All right. Okay, so I actually own this field over on the left. 
How are you supposed to get to that without driving over that other crop there? Hmm. So we own this grass field up here too. Apparently. How long have I been on YouTube? I don't know, a couple months at least. Yep. Okay, so let's go take a look through this field over here. So we actually own this field. So it looks like all the fields that we own so far are all grass. Brunch at 11? Thought we were doing after uh, 1230. But you know, I didn't forget either, in either case. What's this? This is one of the areas where you can sell your goods. Of course, I have to open this gate here. Is the light going to come on when I open it? Probably. Nice. Can you get a Jeep on this? Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm not sure. I've never tried to look for a Jeep before. I think you can, though. This is kind of different. A couple different areas to unload. It's different. There's a lot going on in this map. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're going to head over a bit earlier, though. Okay. I think you can actually drive through that other area down there. Can you actually, uh... Let's put the lights on here. Let's take a quick look down here and see what we see. Beavis, what's up? Oh, this is the green drop-off area, it looks like. <laughs> That's kind of neat, actually. Wasn't expecting that. Thanks, Bill. Hope you have a good day there. Yeah, this is intended for, like, trucks to go into. That's different. Okay. Okay. Kind of digging this map, actually. Uh, let's turn right. Lots to see so far. Lots and lots to see. Almost too much. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. Definitely. There's so much going on in this map, it's crazy. Looks very nice down there. Apparently my computer doesn't like this map though, or at least the at least what am I looking for here? I don't know if it's that over there. Let's see, that's fine. Mm. Let's try that. I don't know if I can do that on the go here, but we're gonna find out here. It may be like, oh, what are you doing there? All right. A little pond area over here, a little forestry area. It's kind of neat, actually. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Definitely seems to not like this map. There's just too much going on. Here, one sec. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna make a difference. I need like a be right back screen. One second here. 
My BRB screen's a blank screen right now. That's not very helpful. All right, one second here. Uh, why is that completely? Uh, I don't know. One second. Oh, it's because of that. Really? All right, one second. I'll be back in a sec here. It doesn't like that at all. There's too much going on there. Let's go ahead and adjust the setting real quick here. And I'll be back. It definitely is like that, Beavis. It's kind of ridiculous. Let's go here, 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 here. Let's see how that plays out. The map actually loads pretty fast too, which is nice. So there we go. Da -da -da. Good. <laughs> it wasn't too bad to load actually, so there we go. And we're back. Here we are. Was I right here? Hmm. This is where I thought it was. All right. Well, anyways, that's fine. We'll check out this out. See what's see what's up over here. There's a gate there, but you can just drive over here. So this is the forestry area, looks like. But Terra is very. I'm noticing this. I'm noticing this. I'm noticing how taxing it is. I can play on it. But a question of streaming it is not a question here. It's like, what's going on over there? It's like, wah! This is the forestry area. Where the heck is that sound? Oh, right, that's what that, that, that little thing there's making it. All right, so there's a sawmill over here, which is kind of neat. These are your lights, I suppose. Yep. Hey, Spud, hi, Country Gaming. How are you doing today? Can I walk in here? No. That's a shame. Can you drop straw there, apparently? Just there for show, it looks like. That might be for wood chips, from the looks of it. This is for your logs. That's kind of interesting, the way they set that up. I guess you can drop your logs over here and sell them. What I want to do is check out though is Gamsing, which is on the Mud Hub a few days ago. Yep, that's the that one's been around for a while though, hasn't it? Oh, can you actually drive this train? What? They put this nice train in here and you can't drive it? I'm a little sad. Ah, oh, sad panda. Come on. I don't care about the crane. I wanted to drive the train. I almost picked up and looked at Gamsing, actually. It's one of their maps I was looking at to say, like, okay, might be another nice one to check out. So I would hate to try this map on my PC. Yeah, my PC is not like, not like, not like bottom end, but I could see there's a lot going on here. Um,. And it's definitely coming through in the video. Like my, my my FPS might be okay, but then as you see it go along, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on there? Nick, what's up? Lots of trees, lots of detail. Unfortunately, that's what happens. Gibson was a great man, fifteen, and recently made its way to fifteen. Looks promising though. Okay, that's good. I wonder if I can tab to a train here. Uh, switch trains on. Okay. Cody, how's it going? I'm doing well. Face boom. I've never heard that at see before. All right. So here is another cell point. Looks like this is where you can pick up animals. This is the stockyard? I guess might be the area. Might be the name you're looking for. 
Let's see. Consorizio carne. That's all I got. Give back. Yeah, seriously. It's kind of a neat little area up there, actually. Apparently own a field. Over here, too. Let's see here. This one over here. Number 12. It's kind of tucked away here. What is going on here? Must be. Whoa. Okay, there's a stream there, apparently. Or a river. Potatoes. Okay. Oh, there's no train. That's sad. All right, so this is the forestry area here. There we go. Still sad you can't, uh, still sad you can't drive the train. Why would they put it there? It's so enticing. Oh, I better go over the bridge. This is that huge river. Okay. We actually own this field, apparently. It looks like every field you own, just about when you start off with, is all like not, uh, it's all grass. From the looks of it, at least. Kevin, how you doing? Okay. Some it looks like some of them aren't uh <laughs> At least a little bit, yeah, exactly. Walking around was better than apparently uh driving around, that's for sure. What do they got over here? They got like houses and stuff over here. <laughs> With the train you say. <laughs> Uh, Ichbach Zuga. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's come in a little area there. Come up here and check out this little area. It's a really nice map, actually. Italia Zuccheri Commerciale. A commercial zone. Luckily, we can just hop over fences and you drop off some more of your grains here. How many cell points are there? I've seen quite a few already. Uh, well, it's not that many, actually. Just seems like a lot. How long have you been playing us for FS4? Years. Barns? Must be for storage. Uh, Granium Italia. Okay. Got quite a few different areas here. Let's see here. That's all the other stuff. Not say part of the map. Hmm. Okay, let's go check out the market down here. There we go. Mm, let's check this out here. Nope, nope. This is the shop right here where you purchase things. So that's the, uh, you pie something that goes right there basically. Hilly, hilly map too. I see, oh, is it the sugar factory? Oh, okay. So here's the town. Where they weather or mobile tower it looks like hmm okay let's check out this over here what's this it looks like they're like a little villa type area almost <laughs> God. okay it's kind of neat can you open this up 
Hey, there's the exile point. Don't have any eggs, apparently. What? Thought we had eggs in our backpack. Didn't we hire somebody to do that? I thought it was this one. Uh, hmm, maybe it's not. Oh well. Okay, continuing on here. This is the town. Wow, this is a pretty in-depth town. Hi there. Hi. You haven't played since 2011. Uh, I played 2009 a little bit. 2000, uh, 2011. Uh, did I play 2009? 11 for sure. 13 for sure. Game extension, exactly. They should be saying Bundrano. Wow, this is a super in-depth town. Hi. Look at this place. That was crazy. But it does eat some performance, so be advised. It does indeed. Wow. Look at like look at the organization. Like this is like the so this is the the city we were just walking through here. Like, that's pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like the fact that they took the time to make that kind of city. I'm very impressed. Like that's something that's not easy to do. To, like in farm sim to have that all like, have the buildings by themselves to, f to begin off begin with like because a lot of the buildings you get are just rubbish and they're so cookie cutter but these ones are pretty amazing actually what do you think beavis that's pretty cool let's go check out the bga over here So here's the BGA. So far, it looks different than what we've seen. Let's just keep walking here. That is quite different, actually. Hmm. All right, I'm, in, I'm intrigued now. So this is the BGA building. Oh, you can open this door here. The engine's running. Okay, that's kind of cool. I, well, exactly. That's what I'm saying, Vitas. Like, it actually looks like an Italian village, which is why I'm so like, wow, that's that's awesome. Okay. And they made this like seriously like a B, like a diff, like a different style of BGA. It's not just a cookie cutter one. Wow, that is quite cool. What do we got over here? So these are your bunkers. No drive through bunkers there. And where's your actual... Uh... Where's your drop-off point then? It must be over here somewhere? Because where do you take the silage? It can't be right here. That makes no sense. Oh, it must be here. It's hidden. Yeah. Now that's cool. So they made it so you drop off the silage in there, and there's a conveyor belt system or something that goes into the building. That's cool. I can't say I've seen that before. That is pretty slick. That's a neat little BGA. Very, very cool BGA. Like, actually different. That is not his. Oh, it's not, eh? I know that BGA. Okay, it's not. So it's not, he didn't make it, but still, the fact that it's actually different is sweet then. Because I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure where, where, that, where that came from, but. That is very cool, the fact that he actually changed that up. Oh, it's a payware model? Oh, is it? Oh, so it's one of those, uh, what do they call that website? Oh, 
is it GA? Is that the one you think Titans go? Um, but still, that's pretty slick. And this is the slurry. Oh, that's kind of neat too. Check that out. That's where you get the uh, slurry from right by di digest it right there. A little station in the back. That's kind of neat. Very cool. What's this over here? This is a forestry here, it looks like, or some more forestry. Okay. A little storage area back here. Hmm. What's this over here? Don't know if we passed this here, but this is this is a very nice, very detailed map. Agro sketch and so on. Uh, it's like, gotcha. But still, it still looks really cool. Little area down here that's just like a, an abandoned farm. Do you have the straw harvest out on? I do. That's pretty cool. Trying to see if it's worth 20. Uh, depends how much you. I uh, Yes and no. Hmm. This is a really detailed map. That's the forest area right there. Goodness gracious. If you do a lot of bailing, straw, handling, definitely worth it. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually. Uh, what do we get? That's a material. So this is another the logging area, or one of them. We visited this one already. What's this? We were here. This is where they get the animals. Gas station. This is a gas station. It's a bit random. Okay, there you go. That makes more sense now. It's pretty random for a gas station. Hmm. That's interesting. What else have we got here? IZC. This is what uh, Beavis was talking about. It's for the sugar beets. Oh yeah, there you are. There's that uh, drop your sugar, that's potatoes right there. But they go up. Up into the building somewhere. Can I actually get into there? That would be kind of neat. You kind of can. And this is something. Here's the drop off for the potatoes, looks like, or another drop off. Hmm. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, this is a very cool map. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I like what I see. They've done a very good job with it. Not to see it down there. I think we checked out everything actually. Let's see here. Is there anything we haven't done? Check out the spinnery, I guess. Let's check out the spinnery here. It's in town here. So we must have actually passed. It. Actually, we definitely just passed it. Because <laughs> we were at that chicken spot right there. Or the egg spot. Okay. Okay. So we don't actually have. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to, I figured as well. So all the fields that we own over here are all grass fields. 42 and 40, 41, 42. They are grass. Hmm, every field we own is grass. Go figure. All right. So let's grab our Lamborghini. Let's grab a plow. Uh, how powerful is that Lambo? 260 horsepower. So we could use the Lemkin. The southward. 
Uh, yeah, let's try the Lemkin. Release it. And it's right there. There it is. And let's grab a weight. And of course, the only weight we should ever use, or shall ever, I have like tons of weights, but I don't use, really use this one here. We get orange, because it's important to have that. At least they give you a Sammy to start out with. Uh, no, I actually, pur I purchased the Lambo because it just made sense in this map. You don't actually start with this map, this particular tractor. Start for the Sammy, uh, the New Holland, Harvester, and the truck. What else was there? Uh, the Puma is the other one they start out with. Okay, now let's go to one of our fields here. And go plow it up here. Uh, we want to head south. Just not that way at all, Ian. Okay. Oh, it's Italian too? Okay, I wasn't sure. Uh, Fiat would be the other one I guess you have. There's a couple other Italian brands, not many. Uh, so, how do I get in that field? Not this way, apparently. Okay. Alright, Wheelie, have a good day, man. Okay, good. And what did our chickens need? Uh, around this side. They needed... Water, chicken... Not chicken, maybe wheat, barley, or corn, water and straw. Okay, so I need water. I can deal with water pretty easily. Alright. I don't know why I grabbed like, this gigantic plow in this tiny field, but Oh, well, I guess I could just chop across the field here and do the other side. There we go. That actually works better. I'm going to convert part of this into a... You're going to make me do that, are you? Uh... There we go. Is that the right button? I thought it was the right button. Lift plow. Oh, it's Y. It's the chicken. Just had chicken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do a little bit of plowing here. I don't think I've done plowing in ages. I don't think you can rotate this plow. I think it's just one way. Memory serves. Yeah, 
in reality you wouldn't do really do turns with the plow, but they don't really make the difference in this game. There we go. But who has the time? Yeah, exactly. It's another map. Exactly, Spud. There we go. Good. Leave a little gap between those two fields there. Put our beacons on. Yeah. It's a very nice map. Now that I've driven around most areas of the map, it's playing a bit nicer, but initially it wasn't very nice. There we go. Alright. It's the first pass done, then we can kind of clean it up a little bit. Now, the thing I'm not sure about is if they've set it up so this is actually just a grass field and it doesn't actually have two stages of fertilization or anything. Or well, they've made it so they're like a field. I don't know. Guess this, this will probably make the most sense doing it like this. But I guess in reality, I'd probably go down the middle and kind of go around. It'd probably make the most sense, but hey, whatever. What if you can plow the bushes in this? I'm going to say no, you probably can't, but no. Didn't think so, but hey. As soon as you break the ground, it becomes a field, so it has a three stages of fertilization or anything. There we go. Turn here. I don't remember the last time I plowed. It's probably an emission at the very first, very like starting of the game. If I had to guess, honestly. Yeah, it was ages ago now. There we go. Not too bad. Well, I could have just adjust my line so it's more properly fitted for what I'm at, for the angle I started at. But. There we go. And as soon as you do this, you'll have the three stages of fertilization and everything. That's what you're telling me, eh, Beavis? Still recognizing this grass. I don't know if they actually did it that way, Beavis. From what it looks like, at least. I don't know. We'll see.
Nice. This is a funny because I'm actually using the plow. Because normally when I do something like this, I don't use an actual plow. I, I tend to use like a I tend to use the disc. Uh, it's a disc, basically, not a plow. Just because it's a little bit easier. Okay. Turn here. Drive over all. Drive over all these bushes. You probably haven't chipped enough away at the mini map yet. Oh, uh, probably. That might be what it is too. I might just need a little bit, of, a little bit more, a little bit more taken out. That might be, might might be what it will do it. But uh, we'll see. Go a little back up there. Yeah, it seems to be running fine now. The Cheeto plow. Yeah, exactly. That's a, a lot. A lot of the time, that's what I would end up using. A Cheeto plow. Well, it wasn't orange and didn't taste like cheese, but I guess it was a Cheeto plow. Have you considered using Track IR? Oh yeah, many times. Not only for this game, but for American Truck Sim as well. Many, many times. I just have not pulled the trigger and purchased it yet. Really, there's only a few games I actually have it for. Uh, it would be, what would it be? Let's see. I have would have it for... Project Cars, I guess. It works for Project Cars. It works for Farm Sim. American Truck Sim. European Truck Simulator. Dirt for maybe. I'm not sure about dirt for. Ooh, doesn't like that. Put that four wheel drive on. Jeez. Uh, and dirt four maybe. I'm not sure if dirt four is capable of doing it or not. the edge here a little bit but yeah track AR was on my he's on my radar still I just uh, I don't I don't know I guess some people say it's a game changer I think I'll get a new video card before I got track IR Let's see. No. <laughs> Didn't think so. It was a nice thought, though. That's kind of interesting. They give you, like, all grass fields to start off with. I wonder why they do that. Must have been some reason for it. There we go. But track IR is expensive in Canada. Let's see, how much is it? Last time I checked, it was expensive. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, it's only $191 right now. There we go. They probably want you to work hard. Yeah, probably. But you could always always just buy a field that's already been pre-plowed. Or like sown, I should say, even. Which is what I really should have done, but... I just realized I hadn't plowed for ages, so I just said, hey, let's go ahead and plow. But it is a quite a beautiful map. It seems to be... After I've driven around a lot of it, it seems to be uh, playing a bit nicer now, too. How is everyone? I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well as well. Chip away as much as we can. I really should use the big plow. I don't think I've used that one at all. What's the difference between this one and the next one up? Ten versus. Oh, that is quite a ways. <laughs> quite, quite a ways. This is the software plow that comes with the game, though. And this is the plow I was talking about before. Well, I could use those ones, too, I suppose. Anyways. Hello from Finland. Hello from Canada. Hope you're doing well. Just checking out this map right here. Doing a little bit of plowing because that's what they've encouraged you to do, apparently. It's a very nice map. Look, if you have a, a reasonably powerful machine, then you want to check out a nice map. Check out uh, Itali uh, the, uh, the, the, the Terra Italica. Very nice map so far. They do make you work for it, though. Cool. There we go. So there's lots of different ways you can plow a field, and going around in circles and not lifting the plow up is probably the fastest, of course. In reality, you wouldn't really plow like that. I'm not sure how you'd end up doing it. You'd have to take a turn at some point. There's no way you couldn't take a turn, really. Now, theoretically, you could always do this with course play, too. And have it set up so they do all the, uh, the plowing. It's doable. There we go. Use the grass to feed the sheep starting out. Yeah, that would be the other way you could do it, Mad Dog. Or you could use it for your cows, I suppose. If you start off with cows. You could do uh, you know, a few cows, give them some grass, and you get grass, hay. You get uh, grass, hay. 
you would also get the Silage spell. Fahi, what's up, buddy? How you doing today? And then straw, you still have to plant barley or wheat. I think this is the most I've ever used this Lamborghini. Nice tractor, though. There we go. Get her done here. This is what happens when you have a four meter plow, though. It takes ages. Which is generally why I don't do one. But Certain scenarios, it's fine. You can't hire a worker too, which I'm surprised. Because it thinks it's like, oh, I can't do this. This isn't, this isn't something I can plow. There's grass there. I'm not supposed to do that. I guess it's what's going, or how it seems to be working. So. All good here. How about you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good. There we go. Almost down a slow section here. Is it going to get all of it? That's what I'm not sure about, so. We're going to find out here in a second. It should do. That's awfully close. It's funny, it all depends on which way you're which way you start working on the field. Do you go and use GPS or you need to follow a contour? I don't know. I tend to do a bit of both sometimes. When I get tired of uh when I get tired of following the path. There we go. Should get the last little bits there. This is just the funny thing is this is just like just vanilla. It's not even modded at all, but it still looks great. What? I should miss those tiny pieces. There we go. Very nice. All right, folks, I do need to get going. I have a brunch date, I guess you might call it. So I gotta head out. Uh, it took me a little bit longer to get this map for whatever reason, but it is a very nice map. Uh, I might be back later on this afternoon. Maybe we'll do a little bit more streaming on the map. But for now, my name's Ian Raps, and I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Farm Sim 17 action. I'll catch you guys later.